Hi guys, I'm going to try and uh, talk a few... Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Hi guys, going to try and talk a few... Hi guys, going to try and talk through a few things today. Uh, we've got a couple of bits here. You might have seen this. I think every everyone knows about this of the Amiga 600, Amiga 1200. It's the CF adapter. Um, this goes into the PCMCIA slot on the side of your Amiga 600 or 1200. Um, and people are putting these in there. That's a 4 gig one. Uh, I think I've currently got uh, 128 in the Amiga 600 at the moment. Uh, I'm going to try something different today. This is for an SD card. I'm not sure it's going to work. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with an SD card that I know. I know the CF cards transcends work in the Amiga. So basically, you just put that in. I'm saying basically again. You put that in there. Okay. And that goes in there. Show you all right way up. There you go, you've got your SD card. Now, I'm not sure if this works. I'm not sure if anyone else has done it, so don't quote me on it yet. And I've seen a lot of people using Workbench 2.1 um, only because 3.1 uses a lot more OS resources, um, a lesser memory footprint, I'm led to believe. And if you're using WHD load games or you're Amiga to use WHD load games, it doesn't really matter because you're not using the other libraries and whatnot. That's what I led to believe anyway. But we see how it goes. I'm just going to rebuild the uh, the 600. This has just come back from Retrobrite, and you've seen that on another video probably. So I'm just going to quickly rebuild that. Okay, so um, let's get on it. Okay, one thing I've noticed is uh, I haven't actually got the Workbench 2.1 discs yet. So what I'm going to have to do is just work with the 128 meg CF card I've got. It's got Workbench 2.1 already on it. Um, and that one I'll have to uh, partition later on. I'm going to have to pull off the Workbench 2.1 discs if I can off the internet. Put them onto this put them onto real floppies and then put Workbench 2.1 into the floppy drive and then install the OS direct on that because there's no way of doing it otherwise so a bit of a setback but I'm going to close it up and we'll do that. Okay guys, so we're going to see how this goes, um, I'm going to reboot it with the CF card in it and a 4 gig, I'm going to install the floppy software, see what's on that disc, I've not even had a chance yet. 
Okay, so it's a start up disk. Okay, whatever that means. Okay, there's a readme here, so I'll go over and read that. Again, we're going to put that in. And my SD card's already in the side. I'll show you again. Okay, so 4 gig transcend. In the extreme adapter. In the PCMCIA CF um, reader. I'm going to reboot it. I'm just going to read this. I'll reboot it in a minute. Okay, that's that's easy then. I guess you can read all that. So I'll do that now. I'll switch the computer off. And um, we'll try that. I'm doing this really slow because a lot of people I see putting videos up miss a lot of information and I'm going to do it as a user would do it. So right, computer's going off now. CF card is going in the side. Never actually used Amiga with one of these so it's all new. Amiga's coming back on. Gav, you can see the screen moving with the light there. Okay, so I'll gather it needs partitioning. So, this is why you need Workbench 2.1 and above because um, the workbenches below that don't have HD Toolbox. Now, I had a problem with this last time because I could never remember where this is. It's been years since I use the Amiga. I'm normally just doing the retro bright and doing them up. What's this one? Maybe it's this one then. Oh, what's this? Okay. Alright, I'm trying to use. Okay. That might be to do with. I think that is my PCMCIA stuff, isn't it? Okay, what I'm going to do is reboot. And I'm going to put a normal 4 gig in there. It might be something to do with the, the SD adapter. Okay, so I've got good and bad news. Uh, the good news is I've managed to figure out how to use the HD toolbox. I'll just give you a quick run through. Okay, so the people that was, um, this is for the internal hard drive only, so this is the 128 meg one, this isn't the 4 gig one, um, before I change it over. I was getting a reboot and suspend, suspension failure, I'm still getting it ROM 3.1, I was trying to cure it by going up to ROM 3.1 from 37.300. Um, and I managed to figure out what I've been doing wrong so if you go into HD toolbox what I was trying to do is go to partition drive and it's only recognized 30 meg so that was to do with the old um, what do you call it uh, that was to do with the old buggy sort of incompatible last kickstart I suppose you could say um, but what I found is you go to change drive type and what that actually does is you can change the um, what that actually does is you can change the physical attributes of that drive obviously because it was limited it only found what was um, what was only to be 40 megabytes out of the 128 so you just say edit old drive type 
and what I did is I just click reconfiguration from drive this was showing 40 meg so you just hit that it says this will read in as much data as possible from the drive some information such as a number of heads may not be available note that heads times blocks per track usually equals blocks per cylinder but not always I just continued and it come up 122 so there's probably a couple of meg there that it uses for uh, what's called table of contents which is the part of the drive that tells it where things are and where to go to get them so that's yeah, round about right better than 40 anyway <laughs> so okay that are you sure you want to over try overwrite the old copy of the drive type continue uh, and after you've done that you've got to hit it and okay it again now this is what I don't want to do and I still haven't done it are you sure you want to change your drive type for the current drive all partitions on the drive will be lost if you save these changes now I suppose if I hit continue I'd lose everything but I've got I've still got everything there I need to keep uh, because I'm in CAC 22 at the moment I can't put workbench 2.1 on here until I get 2.1 discs on here via the CF reader in the PCMCAA port but because my SD card doesn't work in the CF adapter I'm a bit stuffed I'm gonna need a proper CF reader now so I'm gonna have to buy a card reader for my PC so um, we're gonna have to leave this here for now um, anyone got any other ways around it let me know that would be brilliant uh, but I just can't get this to work so that's where I'm shitting out at the moment you can say but yeah if any of you guys have got uh, any workarounds or anything like that just shove us in a comment uh, I can't see any way around it to be honest um, <laughs> it's not <laughs> I ain't even got any USB devices, you know, I've got nothing on this to give me a USB device because I don't know if you could just plug a phone into it. Now that is not plug and play, so I doubt it'd even see any files on the phone anyway, so I could get around it like that, but there you go. Anyway, it's just be interesting to see what people say. So I suppose I'll have to wait and see. Have fun.